Hey everyone, it's Steven here, and I'm bringing you another unboxing video. This time it is the Union Creative Vulcan Log Yu-Gi-Oh! Revo, powered by Rebel Tech Dark Magician. <sighs> Long title. So I got this guy from Ami Ami, and he ran me about $60 with shipping, but that's because I had a big order that I was able to stuff him in. So chances are he may run you a little bit more if you buy it by himself. So definitely bundle up your orders or check other retailers. You might be able to get it for about that much from a U.S. seller. So as you can see the box here, it's very similar to Yugi's in that we have a purple-black color scheme with promotional pictures on the back, a tease for the Kaiba and Blue-Eyes White Dragon figures to be released later. Yeah, I know it's alternative, just deal with it. And we have a nice shot of him next to Yugi. So without any further ado, let's get to the unboxing. So interestingly enough, Yugi's Rebel Tech box has a tape seal, but not my Dark Magicians. I wonder if that's just a quality control issue or whatever, but such is life. It's okay, because I'm used to Rebel Tech's not actually having tape seals. So we get some instructions up here on the top flaps, how to change the face plates, how to get them to hold the staff. Apparently there's a warning about breakage. Maybe that's what it is, or holding it with two hands right there in the middle. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to find out. So, um, hmm. Unfortunately, we don't get a little teaser poster thingy for the movie, Dark Side of Dimensions, but we do get the support stand. Oh, for those of you who have been out of the loop for a while, this is sort of the new design of the Dark Magician that's used in the movie. It's also used on a Shonen Jump promotional card, and it's a promo for the new movie. So, yeah, he's actually black now, like the Black Magician should be. So what do we get here? We get his staff. We get some alternate hands. We get some alternate face plates to go along with the standard one. And that's about it. He's about 18 centimeters tall, I believe it is. So anyway, let's get to opening him up and see how he is. You've had a brief rundown of the accessories, so we're not going to go over those in detail, nor the actual figure itself. It's just a quick overview, but you can check all that out in the review, which will be coming up later. So, taking a look at Dark Magician here, we get a lot of protective plastic. Simple to remove. Now, what's awesome is that Rebel Techs can easily pop apart. You don't really need to worry about stressing joints too, too much. So, you can just pull the protective plastic off like this if you wanted to, or you could just pop the joints apart and uh, pull it off. This is the most exciting part of any unboxing video, I know. Ah, there we go. Nope, that didn't do it. No, oh, that did do it. Okay, there we go. So, let's take a quick look. Quick rundown. Pretty smooth movement. I mean, I've sort of been out of the Rebel Tech game for a while. I think the last new Rebel Tech that I got was the Rathalos, uh, the Azure Rathalos Hunter. And the joints were kind of stiff there, but, huh. All right, wow, they've really stepped up their game. All right, so I'm kind of liking the figure already. It's, I think it's going to get a good review. I need to play around with it a bit more. But you're going to have to wait for the whole review in order to find out whether or not I like it. And you can definitely subscribe so this way you know when that review is going to go up. I have a whole bunch of other Yu-Gi-Oh! figures and Yu-Gi-Oh! related videos I need to get to. So if you're interested in those, you're definitely going to want to subscribe so this way you don't miss out on them. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. And like I said before, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the review. I'll catch you in the next video.